and my second question is uh, the uh, who wrote actually uh, the book of genesis and uh, how it maths about uh, darwin's genesis uh, work what is the connection uh, between bible and darwin's theory uh, okay so you want me to answer that first who wrote genesis who or uh, which nation uh, israelite or uh, uh, what is its uh, literature literature value yeah it's a book of literature and the uh, all these ancient books are basically literature but christians and jews claim that it was written by moses prophet moses but that is a lie because at so many places in the book you can see that it is not moses who is writing those things like the account of moses his death has been written in that book and the account of his death makes it really really untrustworthy why because the account of his death is like that moses went to the mountain and he died there and an old man and a old an old woman who were a couple they found his body and they buried him but when all of this happened the israelites had already left for judea or israel because uh, because moses was only allowed to look at look at the land of israel from top of a mountain across the river jordan so he was never allowed to you know go towards that side towards the side of israel uh, river jordan or i don't remember it which river it was but he was never allowed to go into the land of israel but this this passage is mentioned there so wh wh whoever wrote this passage first of all is not moses because moses cannot write about his own death secondly if that person is another person who is writing about the death of moses so how can we say that that person truly knows that someone buried moses on the mountain because you know moses was buried in secrecy so how come that person knows about it so that's another big problem in the in the in the book of genesis so then then there is the pro linguistic problem because hebrew is a language that came into being somewhere around 800 bc and the books of the old testament the first five books the pentateuch which are known to be written by moses are the books that that are the first five books of the old testament they are claimed to be written by moses all of them were written in hebrew but the problem is christians and jews claim that moses was somewhere around 1500 to 1350 bc so it was at that time but how come the books that moses has written are found in hebrew language and that language did not exist at the time so if moses was writing these books these books might be in some old canaanite language not in hebrew so this also proves that these books are not by moses then in these five books there are there is a lineage of the moabite kings the moabite kings are mentioned in these these books and all of these kings are around the time of some 800 to 400 bc not the time of moses and if moses has existed before 1000 bc he wouldn't have ever known about the names of these moabite kings that were mentioned there and there are so many other things which tell us that these books were written somewhere between 600 to 300 bc not not 1500 bc or 1300 bc but somewhere between 600 to 300 bc so the book of genesis was also written at that time and in the book of genesis as your second question is about what is mentioned about creation of man in the book of genesis so man is created from clay on the 6th day of creation 
and his, his there are two creation stories in in the book of genesis so in chapter 1 there, there there is a book of uh, there is a creation story in which adam is created from clay and then later on eve is created from his rib but in the second chapter there is another creation story in which both adam and eve are created and it is not told that if they are created from clay or not and there is no mention of creation of Eve from the rib of Adam. So there are two parallel creation stories in the book of Genesis, one in chapter 1 and the other one in chapter 2, which contradict each other as well. So the more prevalent story or the more detailed story is the one in which Adam is created from clay and then God makes, makes him sleep. And when he's sleeping, God takes some flesh from his rib, uh, flesh and rib from his chest. And then he creates a woman out of that and she's known as Eve. So that is the creation story in the book of Genesis. But the problem is somewhere around 1000 AD, there was a Catholic priest. His name was James Usher. So in, in the Old Testament, all of the ages and the, the names of all the people from Adam to Jesus have been written. Adam to Jesus, the whole lineage has been written there. So he added all of their ages and their names and everything. He calculated and he said that world was created in 4004 BC. So 6400 <laughs> years from now, the earth How was funny created. Thing. How funny thing, yeah. only so, all, all ages, only 6000 years. <laughs> yeah, so he said that Earth is only 6,000 years old and many Christians who are known as young earth creationists still believe in this idiot, idiot thing, idiot narrative, this stupid narrative. They still believe in that. And this stupid narrative, this idiot narrative is this institute of creation research and all of these guys, they are still doing, think that this is true. But the problem is that this is just a lie, a huge, huge lie, a lie of such a huge proportion that you cannot even reconcile it with any scientific truth that is out there. So our earth is almost 4.6 billion years old, 4.546 billion years old to be exact. And our sun is also of the same age. And human beings are living on this earth for the last at least 200,000 years. So there is no chance in any way that we would be able to find any kind of scientific proof for all of that what is written in the book of Genesis. So all of this is just outright blatant lies. And basically whatever is written there is more relatable to the old Egyptian and Mesopotamian myths, which create, which tell us that human beings were created out of clay and the gods were like potters who, and even the Mesopotamian myths say that the goddess who created human beings, she did it in the same way as a potter does. She had a potter's wheel. A potter's wheel is a wheel on which a potter puts some clay and uh, you know, molds it to make up, make some kind of a jar or some kind of a plate or some kind of a cup. So the Mesopotamian myths even mention a potter's, potter's wheel. So that is how it is in the in those and 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 the even the Mesopotamian myth is much more intelligent than the than the Christian, Judo Christian or the Islamic myth. Why? Because in that myth, the goddess Mami, who is who was the creator of human beings, she creates seven couples, like seven men and seven women. And from them, the whole humankind descends. But in Christianity, in Judaism, in Islam, there is a problem. Everyone is a child of Adam and Eve. And then there is this problem of incest between their children. Christianity tries to solve it by saying that the daughters of men had sex with angels. 
and then they became pregnant and they gave birth to the first children but that is also an interpolation it cannot be properly confirmed so there is ambiguity in the new Te- old testament as well about who the children of adam were marrying so that was that is still a problem there but islam and some uh, jewish tradition says that the children of adam married the children of adam like two kids a couple was born in the morning and a couple was born in the evening so the girl that was born in the morning was married to the girl uh, the boy that was married in uh, was born in the evening and the boy that was born in the morning was married to the girl in the evening so this is how it happened according to the jewish tradition that muslims has also have also copied so this is the stupid state of affairs that we were we have in the book of genesis and the creation story all that we have is is kingdom of judea historically existed kingdom of judea yes it it, it existed but somewhere uh, around 700 bc onwards somewhere the uh, the assyrian yeah. invades uh, judea and israelite and then uh, capture uh, 40000 jews slave and uh, that was by babylon Cyrus, not by syria and uh, sorry uh, and cyrus uh, uh, cyrus, cyrus freed them cyrus freed them freed, freed them yeah. then cyrus they go uh, then they go again jerusalem and made second temple but uh, in your previous stream you said that actually it was first temple yeah as we uh, there is no archaeological record for the first temple so but basically it was the first temple it was the first temple i would say because there was no there is no archaeological record for a first temple a temple before the time of prophet nehemiah there is no a, the, there is no record for a temple built by solomon because the first temple was built by the king solomon and there is no evidence for king solomon even Yes, twenty-four thousand horses is stable. Yeah, uh, yeah. So because uh, there is no archaeological, no archaeological evidence at all. There is no archaeological evidence. His palace was a uh, uh, large palace, but in Jerusalem or other area, uh, no archaeological evidence. Um, uh, There is no archaeological evidence uh, at evidence. all. I think a bunch of lies. Uh, we don't know what kind of some pro-Canaanite tribe and uh, Canaanite tribe uh, settle. the jerusalem and then uh, one time they uh, made a kingdom named kingdom of judea and then they uh, out of this kind of fairy tale from egypt mesopotamia and then uh, create a new religion like judaism some hittite influence uh, one thing we know that uh, the people of judea in 1000 bc were worshiping yahweh al they were worshiping al and the pantheon of canaanite gods they were worshiping al's wife ashra they were worshiping yahweh and his wife as well so yahweh also had a wife al also had a wife yahweh is basically the son of al so later on yahweh replaced al and yahweh also took his father's wife as well so even their god was himself. okay galim sir thank you very much thank you sir okay thank you thank you okay see you bye